I want to take a moment and I want to say it feels so good being right. Patch 0 0.168. It states, watch out, Paleons. Patch 0 0.168 is coming in hot, hot, hot. That's the theme of this patch, and we're just so eager to share all the blazing new additions we'll be adding to the game. We'll also go into some highly requested quality of life changes and bug fixes. For the people that have seen my videos before, they know how we handle the Paleon updates and what we go over. We don't really cover the quality of life changes and the bug fixes, just mainly the updates. So let's go ahead and cover at a glance. The Temple of Flames is now available to explore. Saw that one coming. A new furniture set, Emberborn, which looks amazing, by the way. Two new crops and 10 related dishes are now available, which is corn and peppers. I'm assuming by the emojis, we'll get into that. Become best buds with Tao through his new friendship quests. I called that in my live stream. I told you, Torger, Beals, Brutal. I told you guys, I said it was coming. The workbench now supports multi-crafting, which is something that has been really, really wanted. So what's new? The Temple of Flames area, two related quests, and four new bundles have been added. Getting started by receiving a letter in the mail by Hassian. By the way, I butcher his name all the time. Everyone tells me in my stream, I'm trying my hardest, guys. However, to get into this vault, you need to complete the Vault of Waves questline first. Completing each Temple Bundle will reward you like the previous one, and some items are new and exclusive. The final reward for completing all four include a very special item, an ancient rock garden, which looks kind of dope. I like it. Placing the rock garden on your housing plot will have a special guest appear, the fabled Kitsu. If you guys don't know what a Kitsu or a Kitsune, it's like, um, like a multi-tailed legendary cat. That's the best way I could describe it. And that, and that's what it looks like in the picture too. Offer an item on the stone pedestal for a chance to receive a reward from the Kitsu. This interaction can be done daily and resets at 9 p.m. Pacific time or 4 a.m. UTC, whatever time it is for you, it'll reset. The Kitsu are rare beings, not pets. They want to, they want to highlight that. Whose presence must be respected. They are not used to human interaction and may run away when approached. So approach cautiously. You also can now be friends with Tao. Don't, don't try to romance Tao, please. Please God, don't, don't demand. I've seen the discord, I've seen the Reddit. Do not, do not request romance options for Tao. They state, we know this is a very desired update for the bestie boy. He is the bestie boy. And if you need any more motivation, know that you get a big Tao plus here as well for completing his level four friendship. And then also goes into the Embryon set, which looks awesome. I like the torches. Torches look great, or the brazier. I've never known, I think of boobs when I say brazier. I'm, I'm sorry. So I say torches. It comes with the Emberborn torch, nightstand, bed, hanging lamp, standing lamp, stool, dining table, and table lamp. And you can now grow corn and spicy peppers. I know pumpkins are coming for October. You can't f***ing lie to me, Singularity 6. Corn seeds can be immediately purchased for 30 gold at Zeki's General Store. Spicy pepper seeds require level 6 gardening and cost 170 gold at Zeki's General Store. You can also purchase corn directly from Badru. Once again, I suck at these names. There are 10 new dishes that can be cooked. And get ready, because some of you guys are glizzy queens and kings. The following have been added. Spicy rice cakes, hot hounds, which is hot dogs, crab gumbo, crab pot pie, stuffed phoenix fire pepper, chili oil dumplings, that's nice, spicy stir fry, fish tacos, love me some fish tacos, chapa asada tacos, and shep's pie. You can obtain these recipes by purchasing from the cooking guild store Ref, finding them out in the world, or perhaps through other means. Try to learn them all. I'm assuming um, one of them is gonna have to be through Tao. More items have been added to Zeki's Wondrous Machine. This includes four Valley Sunrise decors, the Valley Sunrise sink, the lamp, the dining table, and the uh, Sunrise clock. 15 new books can be found and read throughout the world of Pelia, so if you're a lore fanatic like me, you can find them out and also be on the lookout for some lore videos I'm gonna be dropping very soon. And the biggest thing that I find the most important is you can finally do multi-crafting from the workbench, which is awesome. You can finally click how many you wanna make, it's perfect. You can increase or decrease the amount. The limit is up to 99, and they should apply to every recipe, whether it's thinner arrows or log cabin garden cernux. Have at it. Item requests can now be fulfilled by using items in your storage, which is awesome. 
Some quests have been adjusted. The furniture required to complete the path ahead has been changed to easier options. Stuck on what the riddle is for open the door, which is Junior Friendships Level 3. Feel free to ask Einar for a hint. So it's just, it, it, it's pretty much, they, they made certain quests easier. They've added three new outfit bundles. The Cadet Bundle, which actually looks kind of dope. The Disciple Bundle, also really good. And the Ballroom Bell Bundle, I don't care for it. But those are those are there. And then of course we have the bug fixes. This is an amazing update. I'm honestly excited more for this update than the Maji Market update. I liked the Maji Market update, but I feel like it was lacking. Uh, I but I do I do think that this is just amazing and stuff that I've been wanting because I've been wanting another vault. I also have some videos coming out of what I think is to come. So be on the lookout for that as well. But yeah, are you excited for this update? Please let me know in the comments below. If you haven't, check me out live on kick, kick.com slash Perzival, P-E-R-Z-I-V-A-L. And also be sure to subscribe. All right, I really appreciate it. Please give my channel a chance. And then outside of that, be sure to join the Discord. You'll get notified with everything, literally everything. Okie dokie. And that means videos, lives, tweets, everything.